All right, everybody, where do we start? We have nothing to talk yeah, about. Yeah, that's right. I had certainly hoped we could work together. Absolutely not. But every man must make his own decisions. You're sent, and I know it. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. Hmm. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. So all I gotta do is just exit the Institute, huh? Could exit the Institute. Or whoever or whatever you are, I know you are out there. Son, for what purpose? I don't even see anybody. All right, stem pack, purified water, Sean's terminal password. Life expectancy. <clears throat> you know, presence continues to unnerve the others. At first, I thought they were merely intimidated by his confidence and arrogance, perhaps even afraid of his general being. Kellogg is, after all, a killer. But as I've continued to witness their reactions, gauge their sidelong glances, he's an augmented human being, a cyborg, really. And the benefits he's received cannot be denied. Director access synth shutdown. Yeah, that sounds good. So where are these synths? Oh. Trusted the wrong guy. I'll take your bourbon. Freaking jerks. Stole my son. Now you all pay. I will limit the pain I inflict if possible. Yeah, well. That goes for both of us. Just like that. I regret any suffering you may incur. You what? These guys are. Where do I go? There's gotta be a key or something. I knew you turn on us. Of course, people are gonna do this, right? There's gotta be a better way into the system. That's obviously not what we were supposed to do. Let's see. Going up. All 
Or going down, rather. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, yes, sir. Load on him. Well, now we're trapped. Yikes. I didn't even see anybody shooting at us. route that we're heading oh it might already be too late I can talk my way back into it oh hang on first of all put your gun away okay second of all where are my markers pointing to anyway Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? Forget it. Never mind. I see. Uh -huh. Well, as I've said, you may see yourself out. Okay. So I can just go this way. Right? Check out some stuff. I'm not a hostile yet, am I? Shower. I don't like shower. You can't really move or do anything, but nice nonetheless. All right, dude. Yes, yeah, requires key. Everything requires a key. I don't know this technology. I'm so confused. Ugh. All right, dude. Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? Yeah, I guess I don't have a choice. I changed my mind. I'll work with you. Well, that's good to hear. All right then. Don't think he, don't think he believes me. Now you're home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know him. Huh? Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. <coughs> and then we'll discuss what comes next. Sounds like a great plan there, uh... Father, son, whoever the hell they are. Alright. Oh, not that way. My bad. My bad. Like, look at this. Ah. I don't know, man. I don't trust this place. Just don't trust it. I guess we'll get back on this elevator. <laughs> Stop. Where? Any of these places seems like a good place to stop. The elevator is busy. Yeah, I, I sense that. Okay. So where am I supposed to go? Useless. 
useless. Useless junk. Mm. Back up here. There isn't anything in here. Nothing. Huh. I don't know. Emergency relay button. It's offline anyway. Okay, so, yeah. Still don't get it. Yeah, I tried to meet the division leaders. There's nowhere I can go in this stupid building. Oh, come on. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry up. Let's go. Okay, does that just drive me off on the next floor? How the hell are you going so damn slow? Yeah, I've already seen all this. I want out. Let me out right here. Let me out. Ah, let me out. I'm gonna break your button. I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break this button. Come on. Apparently I can't get out here. Okay. That's dumb. Looks like there's still a heck of a lot more below us. Okay. So, if that guy was gone, I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. I don't know what's below us. Trippy looking floor though. Yeah, something. Okay. You. Where do I go? Sean. About this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved. Oh, so fascinating. We've made remarkable progress. He's definitely impressive. Yes. It's pushed our technology to the limit. We've gained some valuable insights in terms of both hardware and software. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But, I'll admit hmm. I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me. Yeah, do right. Think, do you think you could love him? Oh, I could totally love I you, dude. A real boy. Oh yeah, just like a real boy. I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help... I secretly think you're full of shit, and I can't wait to F you all up. Okay, man. Sean, yeah. perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. That would be so good. That'd be so good. I'm totally looking forward to that day. So, where the hell are we going here? Get this lower level with nothing in it. But junk. I already checked all that crap. Oh, this guy explains nothing. Well, the only place we got left to go is these stairs. Which has this bathroom. Which I did what I had to do in there. Did my business. I'm gonna take his. I'm gonna take his stuff. I'm gonna take it. Okay, nothing. And uh, over here. Okay, there's nothing. Simpack, a dick doll. I'm gonna take your bourbon. Since don't need bourbon. Preserved cigarette pack. Oh, look at that. Damaged. If you guys had a fancy hairbrush, 
I would be interested. But you know something? You, you don't. You don't have a fancy airbrush. So why would I do anything? Yeah, no, Novus, there's a password though. Sean's terminal password. Okay. Yep. Has to unlock something that I need. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, man. <coughs> Let's unlock this again. Yep. Okay, we read that. Status reports. Anything new? Child Synth Project's under quarterly review. These people, man. Control subjects. Can I put the network scanner in this? Internal network detected. Okay. So, does nothing. Kind of expected that, actually. System power. Why can't I just... Oh, sliding doors. Hey. There we go. <clears throat> that wasn't so hard. I guess let's look up here first. See what's up here. Call this a clean floor. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you see the crime and dust? My apologies, sir. I was issued a defective cleansing unit. All right. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled. We can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Oh my yes, sir. goodness, these people are just vile. Yeah, I can't I can't stand for this. Holdering. Nothing good all the while. Bad. Alright. Let's do what we gotta do. Ugh. Yeah, you don't see sense to being that cool. Jumping in trees. Tell me about this mysterious phase three. No, I can't talk about that. Alright, so there is one person here. We're all looking forward to working. Oh yeah, totally looking forward to it. Not It's an honor to have you here, sir. That's just a complete honor to be here. Almost done. Allie Fillmore. Doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Yep. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. How are you doing, Allie you Fillmore? The Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I guess I just wasn't ready to die yet. Huh? That's understandable. The will to survive is the most basic human instinct. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade good. all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So you guys definitely talk too much. Here and you've spoken to Father. Does that mean you're on board? Oh yeah, totally. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye then. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long Creepy. past their projected lifespans. All right, now we're. Ah oh, man, I really thought I was walking up the water. It's trippy. All right, <clears throat> let's go this to the store first. Advanced systems. If 
I don't get the... We're only here for one person. Dr. Lee. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's All just right. doing it for fun. Doctor. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. I'm Dr. Lee. I'm new. I'm new around here. Where are you going? I thought you wanted to talk. I'm not going anywhere. That was productive. Hello. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. Yes. You're not authorized to be here. I wasn't aware that I needed authorization. <laughs> Father may have given you the keys to the castle, but this is still my laboratory. If you plan to stay down here with us, you need to learn how things work. Is this how you treat everyone? Or are you just putting on the charm for me? Hmm. I wasn't aware that I had to answer to you at all. You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. Uh, I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Good. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think, being surrounded nice. by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full I love getting experience for stuff like that. Here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? Yeah, I don't like this lady. We should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because mm. you're family. I'm not. I can't How did I fail something? More. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. Oh, yeah. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the lab... Forget about Virgil. ...saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him... I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you uh, I'm not lying. Evidence, or we He's have a super else to talk about. Deal? Deal. All right. <clears throat> Dr. Virgil's lab was in the biosciences division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. No, not finally, exactly. If you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute, at will. Oh. Thank you. I can get her removed sure. outward, so. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, Handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things. Sure, to do. sure. Okay. So, I don't really need to meet anybody else, now do I? Oh. I don't know, maybe I do. I don't really want to. Okay, it's this way. No visible reaction. 
sense. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ooh, Ooh, that's too coarse here. In his office. Well, you can tell him that I Subject identified. Yep, just me. Got a coarser suit on. Didn't kill anybody to get it at either. Dr. Watson can be a little obsessive when it comes to rules and policies. Always be vigilant. On the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Hey. Hmm. Please don't. Hey, hey, hey. There's enough friction as it is between us. And get out of the way. Out of the way. You're going soft on me, Alana? My hey, hey. Get results. Excuse me, doctor. Stop so, talking. Here you are. Me turn. Acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. Good. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Uh, I figured. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. Oh, perfectly. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precaution. Hmm? It's nothing personal. No. I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population. The oh, I get that. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated Institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient. Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. Yep. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good That's for good now. for Thanks. now. Very well. All right. Pardon me, sir. No, oh, pardon me. I'm of course to do see. Got one more person here to talk to, and that person is the. I wish you could have known father as we have. Oh yeah, me too, me too. Sounds like a great dude. But not really. Bioscience. Yeah, something about this room. Seemed off to that uh, father dude. Who is my son? Who is older than me? Who has blue hair? Nothing, just wanted that door open, that's all. Who's this guy? So I've had to put everything else to one side. Clayton Holden. Doc. Doc. Hey, hey. So Sorry to interrupt you. Dr. Clayton Holden. Hey. Head of the yeah. Hey. Shut up. Shh. Quiet. Work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Oh yeah. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. Mm -hmm. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough Everybody's so nice is, here. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Ooh. I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. No. I'm good for now. Good for now. Take care, then. Sweet, they gave me a trophy. That's good, that's good. Completed that quest. Dang, that gave me some experience points. Alright. Oh, I 
of saving. Alright, so when we come back, we are going to go and find Virgil's laboratory. Oh, here's some fake gorillas. Dr. Holdren's sent gorilla project is showing promising results. Oh, look at it. Oh, is she? Robot gorillas. Cool. Okay, so yeah, when we come back, we're gonna find Virgil's office. We're gonna get what he wanted us to get. Uh, some sort of serum. And then we are also going to give that evidence back to him. Dr. Lee, I believe he didn't escape, burn this place to the ground because it's a horrid place. And uh, yeah, that's it.